welcome back to Pittsburgh Weiss Schwartz. Carmen's got us locked up in the basement and we're recording uh, Dan Matchy Green. That is not true. They are that free to leave yes, it whenever is. they want. <laughs> Anyways, what does this card do, Andy? Tell us about it. Uh, you're not going to tell me first who's on whose lap this no, time? No, okay. no, no, who's on first? I you to know, no, Andy. Who's on second? <laughs> Andy's on first. What do you mean? What do you mean? Uh, you on first? Yeah. Are you the who? The who? Sorry, I'm too busy looking at this. What's this character? Reveal. This character's name is Sh- Shiru. Shiru? Seer. <clears throat> well, at the beginning of your climax... You know what? Screw you guys. I'm going to read it. At the beginning okay. of your climax phase, choose one of your characters. Gets a thousand power for the turn. I think that's pretty all right. Pay one, rest this. Choose a character. Oh, this is pretty good. Choose a character, and it gains on reverse. Stop with your character. It's Silica back row. It's Silica, but like better, though. Kind of. It's Silica. Yeah, Sil- Silica's frontal I five. This is hard. choose a thousand. It's not better. It's like a side grade. It is a side grade. It is a side it's grade. Pretty cool, though. To a rare from... 2016. I still think it's good. Yeah. I mean, this card's yeah, this card's so. fine. Back row pluses are good. Yeah, I, I'll hop on the B plus train. It's a B plus card. Oh, well, okay. Ooh. Should we like explain why this is like not better than a brainstorm, but like this is like a good plusing effect, like this because it like lets you loop counters, like it makes you hyper selective. Every turn. Because it happens in battle phase, you kind of have some idea of how the, um, like, the turn cycle is going to play out. So you're not, like, salvaging something and then realizing, like, oh, this is useless. You can yeah. do this on your last attack and be like, okay, so my opponent's going to end up here. I'll probably end up somewhere around here. I'm going to want this card on my next turn. Yeah, it gives you more information. It's it's super selective. Um. You only need to get a reverse, like, and you're calling your shot, right? Like, you know where you're gonna get that reverse. So, all right, yeah, I just wanted to lay that out because I think everybody in here knows how good that card can be, but our viewers might not. Sure. So. Well, didn't it truly shine though because you had like a uh, other stuff going on when you used act abilities? Yes. Like Sword Art, you had other like stuff happen on. That act was ability. a thing. Yeah. Did Sword Art have that? Yes. Yeah, the, um... Lifa, Magi is the Lifa, big the one. Leaf, the Lifa and the Lifa level 1, right? Yes. But still, I think this is, like, fine even without that extra stuff going for it. Mm-hmm. Alright, yeah, I just wanted to touch on it, because I feel like... Okay, Zach, it's been a long time since Zach. Wow. wow, he really uh, is running the show. Yeah. I, I can go home. I'm done. Par, par put, mean, put, the way, stairs, put the whip away. Put the whip away. Mm-hmm. I'm getting to it, I'm getting to it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is this one zero climax combo off the bar when it attacks. Uh, some of levels in your, in your level zone is two or higher. You can ditch a card, look at top three, and not up to three characters. Looks good to me. Mew. Oops, I don't on know a... what S, but I give it an A plus. <laughs> it's Mew, but it's on a bar. What's it's... Mew? Mew is a Prisma Ilya level one combo. Me is six five. Mm. This is six k, but it's on yeah. bar. Yeah, pretty sick. You can discard anything, which is nice. Uh, it can plus two, which is nice. Is you me have... also locked behind experience? I don't remember. Yes, yes. Me is also okay. an experience card. I think there's all of the versions of this effect uh, go off of experience. Yeah, you got to hit that level two or higher, which is fine. I mean, like you basically never whiff it if you build your deck around this. Um. It's not hard to uh Is this hit. a girl? Yes. I'm pretty no, sure. I don't know. Oh, okay. yes. So I don't have to feel that guilty then. Okay. Yes. Um Jesus. Oh. Um Her sword's like just like a wooden stick. That's like, cool. Like a I don't know, it's an elf thing. I don't know. Don't watch he's weird. Oh she's um, an elf. Okay, hang on. Yeah. Um keep going guys. I'm opening Me up combo's this. good. But like you gotta build your deck around the fact that you're going to be playing this combo multiple times per game, in which case that, like, you can, like, run very few one-ofs ever of key cards. Like, you can never have a one-of, because you're just, like, ripping cards off the top of your deck all the time. It works for Prilia, because you just want cards. It doesn't matter. You just need to find, like, two finishers by endgame and your climax. But, like, if your deck has to hit any amount of specific cards, this combo doesn't do a lot for you. 
it does plus a lot, but like plusing a lot doesn't mean anything if if you're not getting the cards you want. Does that make sense? Like like that you can't you, sense. you like you can't use a directed strategy with a combo like this. You have to be more generalized and run a ton of duplication in your deck. You like can't get spicy when you run this combo. You got to be also um... hyper directed. You know, yeah, you can plus two with it, but I feel most of the time you're getting, like, a, probably a plus one. Especially if you run events. Prilia doesn't oh, yeah. run events. Then, this deck honestly, does. you could you could just not get anything off it at all. Mm-hmm. But it it's is a gamble, door, which is really good. Yeah, I think I'm more with Andy. I think it's in the... I'm, I'm I, As someone who's played, like, Miu a lot... It's it's like somewhere in between. It's it's probably like B plus, yeah. It's like somewhere yeah. in there. It's it's a good combo in general. I played a lot of Mew, and I think that's a card that works great in that deck because of what you're trying to do, and you have like the ability to play eight Ozusas, and you just really don't care. But like, I don't know if Don Machi is a set that can be that uncaring. Really, I, I don't think yeah, it is. Especially yeah. like, like with what you mentioned, you run, you, you are probably going to run a lot of events in this deck just because so much in this deck just because so many of the cards are built around events, as we'll get to in the data colors. So it, this probably will be of more limited use than it would be in other sets. Okay. Because of that. Yeah. All right. Next card. All right. Um. Got another Miu, right? All right. No, oh, who is this? What's her name? Shiro. 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 It's Seer, I think. And you read the card. <laughs> okay. Uh, when your climax is placed on the climax zone. Choose one of your characters. They get fifteen hundred until the end of your opponent's turn. Hmm, okay, and then at the start of your encore step, you can choose a love is blind in your climax zone. Put it to waiting room. Uh, if you do, look at two cards from the top of your deck and search for up to two level X or lower cards. Put them in stock. The rest of waiting room. So, uh, so you search two from um. You look at the top two and you can put them. In into your stock? Yes. So look at two cards from time early. It's search for up to two level X or lower cards. No, you. S yeah, so you have to have this event in grave. You top you check two, and then you can. It's like a cigarettes, but from deck to stock? No, you, sort no, of. No, uh, you can only. I think there. Uh, if I'm reading correctly. You put the card you revealed in the stock based off of the level of them, and that level is yeah. based off of the number of the so events in your waiting room. If you have two uh, events okay. in your grave and you reveal a level one and a level three, you can only send the level one to stock, and the level three gets milled. That's how it works. I see. Well, again, I think this is a case where it um, depends how good the uh, the event card is. I don't think it's what very is, good, uh... if I remember it. Uh, I'll read it right now. I'm skipping it, yeah. Uh, I think the event's in Nake 1 on play. The event is 1-0 green, draw a card, then ditch a card. Choose one of your characters, uh, it gets the following ability per turn. The ability is, up once per turn, you it's can trigger turn. check twice. Yeah. It's option drive, you don't have to pay, it just triggered check twice. So it's like a hand to stock. You, you spend a stock to draw, you, you spend a card to draw a ditch, and then you trigger twice, so it's a hand to stock. Okay, well, we're ramping. Stock, yes. Yeah, so the, the event ramps you one, and then if you get the climax combo off, and you're, you're ramping one to two additional, depending on how you hit. Yes. That's um, a lot of stock. A lot of stock, especially since this is off gold bar, and you can do it turn after turn, maybe. Well, now, I don't know what you're using the stock The question is, what do you do with it? The cost of the combo is you sack the, is you sack the climax. So you can only do it yeah. once. You can only do it once. Yes. Well, yeah, but I mean, repeatedly turn after turn. Yeah. It's off a of gold bar. Yeah, this is presumably a back row card, so. Yes. This is weird. Ooh, judgment. I I, I think it just depends what you're ramping into. If you can I'm ramp into something meaningful with it. 
I'm closer to Paru. I'm, I'm going to give it the yeah, D so only because I. I don't know what uh, Don Machi will do with all the stock because I, I can't stress this enough. I did not read a single card. I read like the I first didn't... couple of reveals and I saw a search version of the brainstorm from Card Capture Sakura Japanese. And I was like, oh, there'll be events in this set, huh? And then I just ignored it, which I rarely do with with white sets in general. But like Don Machi, just like I don't know, just flew under the radar. I did. I there's been a, there's been a lot of stuff being revealed at the same time. Yeah, it's been very busy. Like it is at the end of every year. I will say I have done some deck building for this set so far. I didn't see anything that was like egregiously expensive. Like no like cost fives or anything like, like that. Oh, you mean? Oh, stock. he means like stock wise. Stock, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you meant, I thought you meant like money wise. No, oh, I mean, no, well, this will come to wise. English and it'll be dirt. Don't worry. Yes, it'll be twenty bucks. <laughs> this is gonna be very cheap. Don't worry. But yeah, I didn't see anything. There, there's nothing like too majorly expensive. Uh, as far as level threes go, from what I could see. Okay. Okay. Well, regardless, right. I, I could see it be like a pivotal card in like a specific deck that's trying to get a lot of yeah. stock, like a ton of stock. I, I, I could see it. It, it It's just uh, uh, not that kind of set. Hey, if, this yeah. level, if this bar had like another use, like if this bar was attached to another card, I would agree with you. I mean, yeah, it's pretty, mm, it's it pretty lackluster without that. If it's just a zero. Yeah. I don't think it believe I don't believe it is. It's not. Green's the scuffed color. It is the scuff. We better. saw the two best cards already. Yeah. Now we're uh, you, we've also seen one half of the climaxes in this color. There's only two of them. No, we've seen them both. The other one was on the combo. Okay. Yeah, we have seen them. We're yeah. done. No more climaxes. We're done. That's it for climaxes. They're both bars. Congratulations. Right. Or sad. It's sad, actually. Huh. No bag. <laughs> no bag. Badge. All right. Next card. Uh, we got this Hermes? Hermes. <laughs> Um, yeah. This is played from hand of the stage. Choose one of your opponent's characters and a trait on that character. And for the turn, that character loses all instances of that trait. Okay, that's interesting. I want to mention that. This says that you have to choose one of your opponent's characters first and then choose a trait on that character. That's how these are worded. No, no, no. On, like, the Toka backup event, like the anti-trait event from Fujimi... That specifically says choose a trait on a character and gets around hexproof. This one does not. That's all like I wanted all the, to say. All the character ones are worded like this. The character I'm, ones. I'm not sure. That, I know there's a rider in Fate that does something like that. Look it up know, by... That's like a, that's like a yeah. level 2 or something. There's literally a mob card that does this, right? No. No? I don't think so. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. I know yeah, that the, sure I know I'm I know that sure there's a mob card that does I this. know that the backup selects a trait on a character and then like gets around a lot of shit. There's something weird with that. But anyway, uh this also has an act ability where you can pay one and send it to memory to check top three and add a one. And then the rest go to waiting room. The yeah, I'm I'm looking right. I'm I'm looking at that rider card right now. That is a... Uh... Choose a trait yes. of a character. Okay. It does not target. The Reagan stock swap from Mob. Choose one of your opponent's characters. Choose one trait of the Oh, character. okay. It loses all of that trait. It is worded that way. Okay, so it's when it's on a character, it's worked that way, but the events dodge. That yeah, because saying? the events okay. get to be a little over spec compared to. The, the Rider dodges too, but that's a level two character. Okay. Anyway, this is a pay one send to memory check three with a uh, trait nuke effect. Hmm. Interesting. It's fine. It's a stock Goes out. Goes to memory. Goes to memory. It checks its deck speed. You usually have to have some kind of payoff to be running these kinds of cards anyway, but they're fine. It's fine. Goes to memory, okay. at least. Yeah, it does go to memory. I'm starting to think that this set might not have issues with deck after all. Mm -hmm. hmm. Wait, wait, what? Is that shade? Or, I mean, no, not you. Not TV. What? Okay. Nah, what? Huh? <laughs> huh? No. You can't no. believe everything you read on the internet. Comment. Dude, what do you mean? Uh. I just take everything he says. Because <laughs> he's always correct. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Uh, don't are we make talking me... about Carmen? 
<laughs> what? Anyways, no. What this do? <laughs> it's the next one. Aru, read it. <laughs> it's a it's a pay one on play. You may pay one to talk the top card of your deck. Salvage a character. It's a salvage Ricky for trait instead of level, which makes it better. And then when it attacks, you look at two cards from the top, up to two from the top of your deck. Choose one of them, keep it on top, put the other in the waiting room. It's a pretty good salvage Ricky, I think. It is. I would give that the, the B plus. I would give it the B plus. Yep. You you could just take anything, even like a higher level. I think that's like really solid. I, I don't know if I want to like give it up to an A tier, but maybe like an A minus. I don't know. What is this? I, 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 two. I just I'll give it the point five. We'll give it. We'll just give it a flat Ooh, A. Okay. I mean, it's just a crystal with yeah, another I'm, effect. I'm with you, Andy. The sorry, what? Yeah, I'll get it. Point five. Ah, you know, wait—is this the only Ricky? Is this all they got? It's the, I think it's they, the best Ricky. They might have a blue. You know, one. I'm searching. I this the is best. the. I think it's the best one. All right, whatever. In the context of the set, it. this is like a fine Krista. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it gets anything. It gets anything. So it's not dead yeah. later, right? It's better than Krista, yeah. yeah. Second effect's good too. Yeah, the second effect fine. is yeah. totally fine. Use your triggers, okay? All right. Uh, Zach, Me. go ahead. Uh, there's three, two assist. All the characters in front of it get ticket power and hex proof. And when it's placed from the stage, you search for a card, uh, put in hand. Just for a character, put in hand. Wait, this is just discount Armin. This is discount yes. Armin. It's kind of wild, right, that Armin has been uh, unchallenged. Look at Bell's so face, long. dude. He is just He's not enthused. Noodles, He's, he's eating some noodles. That's some spaghetti right there. Yeah. That's me. That's me earlier think, tonight. I do actually think this card's good, though. Yeah, it's a good standby target. Yeah, I mean, giving hexproof to front is it's really a dang good. good. Standby target. Hexproof to front is just really good on a two K assist. Yeah, we talked about that in another video that I don't know. It, it'll be up before this. You, we can talk about it. It'll be up tomorrow. So <laughs> okay, we re <laughs> we recorded it earlier today, which means it will be up tomorrow, which is last week. Or two weeks from, <laughs> before this. It's, look, this time. Is time is a social. Time is a social construct. Like <laughs> it's gonna get weird. Like we have our local convention one week coming up soon, and then like I'm gonna be out of town. So like God knows what's gonna go on the channel at what time. Uh. So, but yeah, this card's good. You only play it in standby. But it's really good. I'll keep the content rolling. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. You want to upload something? Go ahead. I don't. I don't care. I'm seeing a uh, like a as long as Brian and theme. Andy are okay with it. Uh, I'm seeing. I could give a shit. I I give. It, I, I see a recurring theme of a uh, hexproof. What's up in this what about set? It? Wait. Yeah, there is some, there is uh, some hexproof. Hex yeah. The uh, the other the yellow early play gets hexproof when you have the whatever <gasps> card is level. Early play in this card, and you can have three hexproof lanes. Holy you can. Shit. Um, does the uh, other one have to be in your middle? I guess not. No. Yeah, you can have three X with planes. I, I feel like that's a little bit redundant, though. Like, I feel like it is definitely. Redundant. Why doesn't this card itself have hexproof and because they're check afraid five of him. on they play? They fear him. They fear oh, I mean, boy. no one. Armin, big Armin, is never allowed to see play. You have all. You have all the Armins. There's big Armin. There's small Armin. I know, scared Armin. Scared Armin. You say it every time. You, you medium, go the whole, the whole medium uh, Armin. Armin. There's all the Armins. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, small Armin, medium Armin, big Armin, scared Armin. All right, are we good? Next card. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is this me? Back around. No, it's Andy. Oh, it's Andy. All the way back. Around. All right. Okay. Got this elf girl. At the sum of levels is six or higher in your level zone. This gets 1,500 power. Uh, when you play it from the hand of the stage, you can choose a character with Familia, Guild, or Hostess in your clock. Uh, put on the bottom of your... You heal a bottom. Yep. Uh, and then when Battle Opponent gets reversed, you can discard two characters to clock kick it. Cross turn. Yeah. That's good. I think this card is good. This goes in the I deck. It is. I this goes right, in. Haru. This goes in literally any deck you play that level one Sir combo in. Or Ryu combo in. Um, Wait, what? What, what, do you, what do you mean? Why does it have to deal with the level one combo? Because uh, this is an experience card. Well, and this that, is... 
Like, they're yeah, both was... experience cards, so you're already playing for experience, so you might as well play the it's payoff card. It's even the same character, right? There's yeah. a running mm. game going here. I mean, this... the other card, it fills your hand up with junk, right? And then this card can just ditch extra junk anyways. So. Yeah. Did we not get to that one yet? No, it's the level no, one we, combo. The level one combo. The, screen card. the level one combo is experience. So if you're already oh, wait, that's experience also. Yeah, they yeah. always are. That that oh that, yuck. That that combo is all, that combo profile is always experience. Otherwise, it'd be broken. Oh, it's too easy. I don't like it even more now. I like it even well, less. Well, if you're already wait. playing for experience, you might as well play this what payoff card. Like about, what do you dislike about the real level one, real quick? Like experience two is fine. Yeah, I guess so. I'm I'm just. It's it's just a personal preference for me. I I just don't like experience decks. I, I feel like it really forces you to level up certain cards, and I don't like that. But well, it probably wouldn't be that bad with this set. Like that. It literally does. Yeah, it probably wouldn't be as bad with this set since you have the guy who uh, the climax swap that'll just switch cards uh, from your level for free. That's so true. it's probably not too painful. You're playing on this bars, well, at least one bar. So climax swap's pretty good. I think this card, as an off finisher, is pretty fucking good. It's a healer, yeah. cross turn clock kicker. It's eleven five base. If you're if you're playing this card, you're playing for experience. So I'm it's just cute. considering it eleven five. Uh d- sure. It's an elf girl. She's very yeah. cute. Okay. She is. Yeah. I mean, right. I would. But like, let's go to the next card. Okay. <laughs> um, who is this guy? Uh, Mia. Mia. Yaha? Yaha. Uh, <laughs> Mi- Miyach. Miyach? Miyazaki. Yaha. When this plays from hand to stage, you can pop to rearrange. Uh, and then it's a cost bomb. I don't think this one's much the better clock. than the yellow one. I think the yellow, the one, yellow one has a soul trigger. This one sucks. The yellow one has a soul trigger. <laughs> the yellow one's a hand filter uh, that the can summon one. a zero that has an on death effect. This is just this is a lot worse than the yellow one, and yellow and green are equally like rough colors, right, Zach? You've looked at the set, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They're, the, they're... the main two colors are blue and red. There's like junk everywhere else. It's like you have the Ricky in green, and then in yellow you have yeah. like the Chaser. So like you have like some. Yeah, the fix. Chaser and the Climax Swapper, and that also level level swap. That's yeah, all okay. yellow already has. Okay, so like if they're comparably hard to play at one, then the the yellow one's just better. Yeah. All right. Next card. Or this is uh First, uh Asfi. Asu, Asu, Asuhi. It's a dude Asuhi. from Berserk. Anyways, As- Asfi. <laughs> when you have two or more other characters with one of the three traits, this gets plus one level and plus five hundred power. And if she is a level 2 or higher, she gains an additional 3,000 power. So this is a 1-0, level 2, 6,500. You know, they're really Tom, power... got away with playing this, right? They're really power budgeting these cards kind of weird. They're just like, yeah. I want yeah. this to be a level a 2 zero, 65. There's probably some flavor thing going on here. I mean, is there a 1-1 one, one level X in the set? I'm not sure. This, this yeah, I was going to say, you, you must love this card, Carmen. This is just like the Shirogane. And, um, uh, yeah, I was going to say, well, these are oh, fine. Yeah. These are fine when they hit the right power level with like a level X that does something else. But does that card exist in this set? Probably. Shirogane on his own is kind of shit. It's the fact that you always have that stupid 1-1 one, one in the back. It makes that card good. I don't know. I'll leave it as it. I'll just give it a, a who knows. You only... I think it's like fine if for some reason you need a green oversized level one. Yeah, it's totally okay. Uh next. It's Zach. Uh one zero. Uh when your other character attacks gets one K. When it attacks at the character facing it is level two gets six K. You know if you need it. So it goes to 12k. Is that bigger or the same as the others? As other level 2 killers? That's about the same. Usually 12. You know, and if you it's need just it. a bit more useful in, in general because it can swing at 6k, if not basing. 
You can't just so, don't talk yeah. if you don't know it. That's not our brand. That's a strictly broken brand. Okay. So I thought you were just typing random letters in. <laughs> you know if you need it is what I is what I uh what I said. Like if if you literally play against nothing but standby, you cut your auxiliary level one and you play this instead. Like that's it. I thought it might have been one too many Miller Lights and you just guessed on the keyboard. Miller Lights. <laughs> I, I drink Labatt here. Whatever. It's Im imported <laughs> daily from the Great White North. Uh next. All right, um, you got this elf assassin dude. Uh, when you play backup of this, if you have a character, choose one of your characters, and it's a 3,500. It's basically a vanilla. Yeah, it's a 3,500 counter. It's better than yeah, a 3K. I, how do you rate these? We, we just say what they are. Like, you play these when they hit the right power. If that, if that extra 1,000 power oh, matters. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I like them, but I mean, it, it, I mean, I, I'm, I'm not averse for them either. It, it depends if they put you at the right power level for the meta you're in. It's all dependent. Uh, this is this level zero review. If you're level two or higher, this gains all your characters in front of this get 500 power. Okay. <laughs> and then it's a global five. So it's a, it's it's a, a global, global five. five and then when you're level a two, five. it's a frontal five. I mean, for costless, I that's that's fine. Think it's bad though. I'm sorry. It scales throughout the game. I mean, I think it it's probably play. bad, but I don't think it's that bad. It's probably fringe playable. Yeah. It's like a thousand power. It's a good assist, rate. Though. It's that's a good like, rate. Right. Like, but it's not good. Okay, part. Oh, you get the innkeeper. Uh, her name is Mia, and for each, all of your, sorry, all of your other Maid Seer and Maid Ryu gain Twin Drive. Oh, and a thousand power. Soups up your vanillas. Woo. Woo. Soup. Soup. I'm not even going to rate it, because... This is bad. Yeah. It, it, it is bad. I'm soup. And account. then there's two vanillas in a row. Yeah, it's, it's for fuck it, whatever. Let's just go to the next card. These are both vanillas. We got a vanilla sir and a vanilla. Other Asfi has. Who's even up? Is it me? I think so. Yeah, it's you. Uh, two one for each of your other characters in back row. In your back row, it gets twenty five hundred power, and it has stack two encore. No, this is so bad. Yeah, this is that, that's encore. unplayable. I've never seen that before. Does that have is that correct? Yes. Yeah, Sack to Encore. Yeah, it's definitely the effect. Need it. It's mm, not very good. Uh, All right. We should be experimenting, I guess. <laughs> Shout outs to Bushy Road Design Team. We got um, this made Sir. boy again or whatever. Sir. If you had oh boy, this looks like the uh, she's in love with Belle. This looks like surprise from Blenda. Oh, no, she's in love. She's in love no, with this. Is, this is not surprise. <laughs> she's in love with. She's in love with Belle. This is like the scene where she's like, "Oh, I made you lunch," and Belle's like, "Oh, like I guess." I guess. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> that's adorable. Um, two or more other characters. <laughs> blah blah blah. She gets two thousand, and uh, when you attack, she's one of your other characters. Okay, Fifteen hundred times the number of events in your waiting room. All right, that's like, it's like the Remy. Kind of, or wait, no, that's the Remy's a bomb too, right? Yes. Yeah. So like, I don't think that first effect is putting this thing big enough. I think the second yeah. effect is sick, but I don't. Why? Why couldn't this just be Remy bomb, dude? Especially in this set, Remy, right? in this set, you could just be like, okay, plus ninety five hundred power or something <laughs> ridiculous. You could be like, okay, it's like plus fucking like nine k over here, and your opponent would be like, well, wait, what'd you say? And you'd be like, and then you flash them like six, like six events in your grave, and they go, oh, okay. 
Maybe, you know what, maybe you play so many events, it's fine, but I, I do think the Fringe fact... playable. It yeah. would still just be better if it was a bomb, though. Like, yeah. you can't help it. Yeah, I mean, Rimi's disgusting because she clears two lanes on her own, right? And this just doesn't do that. Alright, another Hermes. He's fucking really happy. Uh, when you play this Romanda stage, if you have four or more other characters, uh, you choose a character in your waiting room, put it in the stock, so he plays for zero if you play him on a full board. And then on attack, if you have a full board, choose one of your characters, and it gets two soul. Uh, this is the Chibi Maple card, but like ungodly worse. Because it can't save itself. That card was only good because it could like keep itself around and synergize with a freestander. And uh, on its own, this profile is kind of fucking whatever. Even if it does play yeah. for free. It's a choice target. No, it's not. No. Because it's not a choice target if you don't put it in your deck. Your car is right. I, 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 I don't. Guess so. I don't think the card's very good on its own. I think that that Maple card was literally only good because you had the Restander and it like kept itself around for the Restander even if it got killed. Yeah, the Maple had additional stuff going for it. All right, last card. We got the event. Par, take us home. You draw a card and you ditch a card. You choose a guy, he gets Twin Drive. But you don't have to pay for the Twin Drive. Reach one drive. It's a minus so one, but you plus a stock. Nightmare. It's a hand of stock with extra steps. But it does filter you. It's a hand of stock that filters you. I, I'm down with that, honestly. I think I think this event is actually probably fine. A, a hand of stock oh, that yeah, can filter you your hand? Uh, hand? No. Those directly give you um, like a extra stock, right? That one was just like a straight neg one. No, it 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 gave you twin drive. I believe. It worked like, with something with else. Let me the, let me look it up one. here. Why was the I'm forgetting why was the Kagi one bad? Um, I'm checking. It was like the Kagi one was definitely costed twin drive. I know that for sure. Yes, it was. Incident of the Century. It's choose one of your characters, it gets 500 power. The following two abilities. Normal twin drive and end of turn if your stock character one. is still center shade, stock one. So the card had to live. This is just no strings attached on play yeah. hand filter then double trigger. So it's literally the same rate as a, as a hand of stock. You don't get a body but, like, you basically play a card, get a stock, you get two triggers, so depending on your trigger lineup, you might get additional benefits, and you get the hand filter. Might be pretty sick in standby, not gonna lie. Like, hmm. you push an yeah, extra trigger, hmm. you push an extra trigger, you filter a card into grave, right? Like, that's a lot of things, like, compounding for, like, standby is what I'm thinking. When I think of pushing extra triggers, obviously, you think of standby. But... That's a that's a good case for it. Holy shit! Is that a love life card that doesn't look like garbage? Is that a like, no? It couldn't be. No, it's a love life. Are you talking about the love the level zero one? Yeah, the love life superstar card is a card that doesn't immediately assault my ar uh, my eyeballs. <laughs> this looks like a real card. No, even the the base rare looks like a real card. I'm sorry. So like, hey, don't talk shit on love life. I'm <laughs> okay. Carmen, All no, right. don't do it. <laughs> you know what? You know what's gonna happen. You really no, think? You really no, think? You really think they're watching this no. far in the video? But imagine they are. It's been thirty minutes. Oh my god! How do we spend thirty minutes to talk about like twenty-three bad cards or nineteen? Okay, bad no, cards. no, no. Okay, look, look, look. This green event's like legitimately good, right? Like this hey, is no, legitimately fine. Green cards. I'm taking back what I said. Green no, cards. this is okay. If you would you play a hand of the stock that filtered you in a standby deck that gave you extra triggers. I think the answer is yes, right? If you had the space I think, I to think do he it, made a, I think he made a case for it. Yeah, I don't think I it's think like it's an auto include, but no, I, yeah, I, I think the rate is good. I think the effect is good. I think the filter is good. Everything is lining up. It's just does it fit in the deck is the question, and that's why. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys are all right. It's a fucking C because it only you, 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 it you only make works. It, fit. it only works when you everything else falls in line. 
I'm sorry, I was just so surprised that there was a Love Live Superstar card that didn't make me puke. Well, um, did you see the Black Widow base rare? Oh, you know. <laughs> Her chance is not going all kinds of wonk. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh my god. We, we so, just like, have... just my first impression of green, like, yeah. after going through it, I could see, like, some sort of... Because we mentioned before, like, what what are you ramping to? Like, this card gets you, this nets you stock. Uh, the combo, the Climax combo level zero that goes with this event also will give you an extra one to two stock. But like Zach said earlier, like, what are you ramping into? What do you, what, what do you need all that stock for? Oh. Well, no, 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 I'm just talking about like, that, that was the question what, What's that was the posed. payoff? What's the payoff for like going into the stock charge I, I could strategy. maybe see some sort, like, my gears are turning, and the thing I'm seeing is maybe, like, bar choice. So we haven't talked about it yet, because it's in the next color. But there is a level 3 red card very early in that requires a bunch of stock and does not require level climax. Two. Oh, 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 that. Oh, okay. I, I haven't seen that one yet, but just from what I have seen so far, the, uh, the choice combo at level 3. How it's like, how are you going to get 10 stock to triple that? Yeah, and bar choice also wouldn't super play, mocha. wouldn't play a lot of events, so like you wouldn't get punished for playing the Ryu combo, the like level one oh, I see. deck three combo. So you could play like a quote unquote like eventless stock charge deck with bars and choices, and like well, not even eventless, but maybe just the screen event. Yeah, maybe know. something like that. It'd be like it would be like low event. Uh, experience bar choice. Uh, I can I can see where Andy's going with that. Cause like the maybe the... there's something there. Tell us maybe. in the comments. Maybe. All right, we'll see you guys in red.